Thank you for listening to Discovering the Scriptures with Dr. Peter John Parises. Currently, we are in Daniel, chapter 6, verse 24. Reading from the King James Bible, quote, And the king commanded, and they brought those men which had accused Daniel, and they cast them into the den of lions, them, their children, and their wives, and the lions had the mastery of them, and brake all their bones in pieces, and or ever they came at the bottom of the den. Unquote. Let's go to God in prayer so we can get wisdom and instruction concerning what we're studying. To God. Come to you in prayer, Father. We need wisdom from you. We need to teach, hear the teachings of the Holy Spirit, our teacher, on this verse that you've given us now to look at and study. I ask and pray that you please do so. And if there be any sin or prayer hindrances in our way, that you would let us know, that you'd forgive us, and that you'd help us to take care of matters expediently. In Jesus' name I pray. Now, Father, I also ask that at the end of this prayer, as we go into silence out of respect for you and an opportunity for you to talk back to us, that you would please talk to each one of us. In Jesus' name I ask. Thank you. Need more time? Hit the pause button. Reading from the Young's Literal Translation. And the king has said, and they have brought those men who had accused Daniel, and to the den of lions they have cast them, they, their sons, and their wives. And they have not come to the lower part of the den, till the lions have power over them, and all their bones they have broken small. Unquote. Reading now from the Septuagint, quote, And the king commanded, and they brought the men that had accused Daniel, and they were cast into the den of lions, they and their children and their wives. And they reached not the bottom of the den before the lions had the mastery of them, and utterly broke to pieces all their bones, unquote. Now reading the Geneva Bible from the 1500s, quote, And by the commandment of the king these men, which had accused Daniel, were brought, and were cast into the den of lions, even they, their children, and their wives, and the lions had mastery of them, and break all their bones of pieces, wherever they came at the ground of the den." Unquote. Now the King James Bible has this verse as its own paragraph. So I'm going to look at the verse before and after to make sure that we don't take this out of context. Reading from the King James Bible, verse 23, 24 and 25 of chapter 6. Quote, then was the king exceeding glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no man of hurt was found upon him because he believed in his God. And, and the king commanded and they brought those men which had accused Daniel and they cast them into the den of lions, them, their children, and their wives. And the lions had the mastery of them, and break all their bones in pieces, or wherever they came at the bottom of the den. Then the king Darius wrote unto all people, nations, and languages that dwell in all the earth, Peace be multiplied unto you. Unquote. Now let's go ahead and parse out this verse and see what we can get out of it. And the king commanded, this is a PL stem perfect aspect, casually written and completed. And they brought, now this is an aphio stem, and that means a causative conjunction. It's a perfect aspect, so it is complete. Continuing, those men which had accused, parse that, PL stem, perfect aspect, casually written and complete. Daniel, and they cast, let's go ahead and parse that, PL stem, perfect aspect, casually written and complete them into the den of lions, them and their children and their wives and the lions had mastery of them and break all their bones in pieces. Now let's look at that parse it in pieces. APL is the cause of conjunction stem, perfect aspect which means complete, or ever they came, P 
PF stem, casually written, perfect aspect, complete, at the bottom of the den. Now, I want to discuss some things here about human nature. And let's see what we can discover here. First of all, we have 119 people who have accused Daniel. And now we have their children and their wives added on top of that. Now I want to remind you that this was a customary act during those times. It goes against the divine law, which enacted that the fathers should not be put to death for the children, nor the children for the fathers, that we find in Deuteronomy. But here it is, it's customary back then. Now let's talk about this, because this is very, very, very brutal, very cruel. I'm going to tell you why. These lions eat about 11 pounds a day. They'll kill what they want to kill in order to eat them. They will attack and kill if someone comes into their territory. So what are you going to do with all of these carcasses? Because 119 people and their children and their wives, it's going to be a lot of carcasses, a lot of bodies all over the place that are dead and heaping up. This could allow the lions to get out of this den because it would heap up to the top of the den and they could escape. Did the lions break these people up and drag them away? Possibly. We don't know. We just know what's red. But you are dropping them into the den of the lions. They are very territorial. So we don't know what happened. They could have killed them they would have dragged them out of their den if they're not going to eat them because they like to keep themselves clean, as you can watch in videos. So we don't know. We just know that this is very amazingly brutal. Did they want Daniel dead? Yes. Did they almost succeed? If it wasn't for God, they would have. They would have taken an 85, 90-year-old man and brutally killed him. And in turn, now, they, their, their wives and their children, are all killed the way they wanted to kill Daniel. And now the king has no rulers over his nation. But then again, neither did Nebuchadnezzar have 120 rulers. So what's being done? We don't, really, we don't really know. It's not given to us. We do know that somebody saw, probably the guards, saw these people breaking pieces as they were killed on the way down or as they hit the ground in the den. We don't know that that's been reported to Daniel. When? I don't know. I don't think it was reported to him during it at all. I think it was reported to him afterwards because this would have been savage and it would have put Daniel into prayer for his enemies. And he would have probably got a stay of execution on these guys. It didn't happen. So my thoughts, this took place while Daniel was convalescing somewhere. Um, the king probably gave him some time off to travel and to take some time and relax by um, one of the great seas. We don't know. We're not told. But we do know is that Daniel has been delivered. And his enemies, God took care of through his instrument, the king. The king was probably really ticked off beyond belief, that you try to kill the saintly man, and that God saved him. So to appease Daniel's God, he probably took his anger out on these people to kill them, to get rid of them, so that Daniel would be safe. Again, we don't know. Is all this important? No, it's not. Not in Daniel's book, because Daniel is writing that this is a causeless conjunction, and that it's casually written. It's not important. Had it been important, to the story he would have really given us more intensive writing he doesn't but he does point out that you can be in the midst of danger praying at least three times a day to God having faith in him and be okay if God chooses to spare your life if he chooses to take you home all the better but if he decides to save your life you're fine rest in him let him take care of everything. You don't have to try to get um, even.
if you let God handle it, he'll take care of it. And I can attest to that. I've seen it dramatically with a backstabber that I had a few years ago. So I've seen it. So here's all we have. That's all we know. We have to see what happens further as we go along in the next verse and to the end of this chapter. Now remember, he's still writing the Aramaic language, the uh, court language, Chaldean's language. He's not writing Hebrew yet. So this is what we can get out of it for the last times for our lives. Don't get even. Don't be upset. In our conditions now, we know to pray for them. Wish them no evil. Leave them to God. All right. Now, continue meditating upon this word. If you like this, hit the like button. If you want to make a comment, please do so. And hit the subscribe and the bell button. And it will let you know when more of these are available. I am uploading a lot more sermons and Christian books for the Christian Library. If you want to go ahead and find these only, you can put it in the search bar, uh, Discovering Scriptures, and it will bring it up for you. Not discovering the scripture, but discovering scriptures. And it will bring up all these for you. All right, God bless.